Hello, welcome back to Erica's Little Welsh Garden. Thanks so much for joining me today. About this time of year, we're starting to think about buying in or using fertilizers to help our plants grow bigger and produce more fruit. So today, I thought I would show you an easy way that you can create your own nitrogen rich plant fertilizer for absolutely free using nettles from your garden. I am so lucky in my garden because I have a number of really big nettle patches just like the one behind me. But before I show you how quick and easy it is to make this nettle fertilizer, I just need to tell you something really important first. And that is that the stinging nettles are a vital food source for the caterpillars belonging to the red admiral, tortoiseshell and painted lady butterflies. The butterflies come along and lay their eggs on the underside of the new growth. and when the caterpillars hatch they then have a really lovely food source to munch along before they turn into the butterflies so it's vitally important that if you are going to be making any of um, the nettle fertilizer that you make sure you only take a maximum of one third of the patch every time you make it the first thing that we need to do is get ourselves a bucket with no holes in the bottom and preferably a lid because after a couple of weeks it really does start to smell. Then we need some gloves and a pair of scissors. As I mentioned earlier, I have a number of nettle patches in my garden. So I usually harvest a couple of stems from each of the plants until I have a full bucket. But while I'm doing that, I always just turn the underside of the leaf over so I can just check if there are any caterpillar eggs on there. If you're a gardener, you probably already know what caterpillar eggs look like because every single year you put your brassicas out, your cabbages and your kales and the cabbage white comes along and lays her eggs on the underneath. Once your bucket is about half full with nettles, all you need to do is fill it up with water. Preferably water saved from rain or from the water butt is best as opposed to using tap water. And that's just because your saved water is gonna be full of lots of organisms already that are gonna help kickstart the fermentation process to get to our nettle fertilizer. Once you've done that, all you need to do is give it a quick stir and then put it to the side somewhere where it's not gonna be in the way and preferably away from where you're going to be working in the garden because it really does smell after a while. After around about a week you just give it a quick stir every now and then and then you will be able to actually start harvesting. After a couple of weeks your fertilizer should look something like this one here. Now this is a very strong fertilizer and will need to be diluted about one part fertilizer to ten parts water but then it's ready for going onto your vegetables. Nettle fertiliser is really high in nitrogen, so it's the perfect tonic to use at the very beginning of the season on all of your little seedlings when you really want to promote some vigorous leaf growth. And it's perfect for using on anything that doesn't flower throughout the season. So things like um, your brassicas, like your kale and your cabbages and things like that. But if you were to continue using it on things like a potato over the season, you'll end up with a big, beautiful, bushy plant. But when it comes to that harvest time, you're not going to have many potatoes. So things like your potatoes and your tomatoes, you would need to switch to something that's going to give a broader spectrum of nutrients and also something that's going to be high in potash. I really hope you've enjoyed watching today's video and that I've inspired you to give nettle fertilizer a go, even if it's just the one time. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all of my latest videos. As ever, YouTube have some videos up now on the screen that they think you'll like, so please go ahead and watch those and I'll catch up with you in the next episode. Bye!